All right, I'm bringing you guys a new micro brand to the channel. This watch was lent in from Dufresne. This one here is the Travis. Why did I get this? Well, quite simply, my brother's name is Travis. I wanted to check it out. I think it was a good looking watch. So I asked him, hey, would you mind lending it into the channel? So they did, and here it is. So obviously they didn't name the watch after my brother. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what they named it after and also Give you guys some details on the watch while we're at it on this episode of All right, so we have the Dufresne Travis, and this watch is a micro brand watch that comes from Austin, Texas, assembled in Austin, Texas. This is a Swiss made micro brand. Comes in this beautiful retro green travel case. Love the travel cases uh, with, when it comes to packaging. And we've got kind of like this, uh, velvety lining and you do get an extra strap now it looks great on the watch but i have to give this a zonk because well these silicone straps they attract every hair dirt speck everything i don't recommend these straps even though they look good they feel good they're just not very practical guys this is exactly what you get um, it's nice that they offer you the extra straps, but um, unfortunately, this is what they're going to look like uh, with minimal wear. I, I really um, had this clean, and then within seconds, it gets dirty. So these, they usually get thrown to the side. But the highlight is indeed the bracelet, which we will get into. So what do we get here on the case? We get, of course, as you can see, anti-reflective coating. Um, it is actually that blue tinge that you see there and uh, that's really a nice touch and you get a really clean dial here um, screw down crown and no ghost position because they are using the Salida SW200-1 or you could even look at it as the minus one which is minus the date get a very nice clean look uh, without that date and Dufresne has a very minimalistic look to this. This one is actually considered the dusk color, which is the uh, basically the black matte finish. But they also have the sky blue, which is a sunburst dial. And also they offer the juniper, which is the green linen dial. One of the highlights of this watch is, or should I say three highlights of this watch, is the three Ds that they offer. They offer... Uh, the D protect system and I'll get into the other D's in a second here but the D protect essentially is a hardening process which is five and a half times more um, scratch resistant than 316 L stainless steel so this watch is going to really hold up very well if you use this on a day-to-day -day basis all right this is actually hardened to 800 Vickers using um, I believe it's a yeah DLC coated process so um, and they actually do that with the bracelet as well all right now when you look at the case you see very nice brushing here you get a great chamfered edge very nice polish there and then you get more brushing as well everything fits very nicely as well um, very premium brushing and polishing and it just really gives this watch that premium look um, you do get like the stainless steel brushed uh, outer chapter ring here all right and you get the indices which are all loomed the handset is loomed that little lollipop is loomed and you get a loomed pip as well and I'll show you guys a loom shot right here now going back to that SW200-1 uh, movement you are, or at least uh, Dufresne, <clears throat> Dufresne claims to have these watches dialed in to plus to minus eight seconds a day. We're gonna put this on our time graph and show you guys exactly what this one is running at. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so in regards to the bezel, we get 120 click bezel. The other very unique feature of this watch, besides the fact that there's absolutely zero back play, is the fact that this is actually a sapphire crystal on the bezel. Okay, this is not ceramic. All right, you're also getting the coin edge on the bezel and also on the crown, which is indeed signed with the Dufresne logo. We flip the watch around, and what we get is that Texas Star. This is a Swiss automatic 20 ATM, which is 656 feet or 200 meters of water resistance. This is indeed the prototype, which is why you get the number XXX of 300. This watch was indeed lent into the channel from Dufresne designed and assembled in Austin, Texas. You get a nice milk class, by the way, guys. This looks very premium. You even get nice brushing inside of here. Um, you could tell that they uh, spent some time on this class because look at this, beautiful brushing, Dufresne uh, logo there, very high-end looking. And you get the chamfered edge, which is just beautiful. One of the best clasps I've seen on a micro brand in a very very long time you get screws here which actually houses the second d which is the d adjust system and the third d is the let me make sure i have this right guys the d change system okay so this is the d change okay which is the quick quick release so you just simply squeeze these two right here and there it goes it gets released now it'll be easier for me to show you this D adjust system which is on the fly ad adjustment uh, basically what it is is like a diver extension um, where you don't need any tools because uh, typically uh, with that minor adjustment as well um, you can also call this a, a minor adjust it's actually more of the uh, the fine adjustment as opposed to a diver extension but it can be used as either, okay? Um, you typically have holes on the side here and then you usually need a tool that you see right here. And this one's a little bit bent, but you, you, you guys get the point. All right, so you basically just need to push down on this little mechanism here. And this is supposed to um, adjust your bracelet. Um, I've had nothing but troubles with it, guys. Um, you probably would have a little bit better of a time than I am. Um, I'm pressing this thing down. I'm trying to go in and out here, and it's just, I mean, I got it at, I got it in. Um, I know you can only do an adjustment like one at a time. I just, I wish this thing was easier. Um, I've seen other reviewers do this a little easier. Maybe I just got uh, one that's not, let's see here. Like if you bring it in, as you notice, you don't need the button, but if you bring it out like here, I did get that out one there. <sighs> see, I got it out one. You can bring it in, bring it in, and bring it in. And then yeah, there we go. Just not the easiest system, guys. I just wish it was a little easier. I'm having, sometimes when you get on a roll, you can get these in and out, but there you go. So not the easiest system, guys, but it's there for you. You might have better luck than I have, but just something to look out for. Uh, but it is nice that they give you that. Um, it's typically a feature you find on Rolex. Obviously, Rolex is a much more expensive brand, and the system is indeed more user friendly than this one. But at the end of the day, it is offered um, at a price tag of right around $600. That's what you're going to pay for this watch, $599. Uh, the whole goal of this watch is really just the whole, this is actually named after the Austin Lake Travis in Texas. And what uh, the Dufresne owner was going for was that whole just serene nature like um, with this watch. You know, this one again is the dusk. He offers the sky and the juniper. So one of just no nonsense, no numbers, no clutter, just a really serene looking dial. And I think that was definitely accomplished. Love that splash of orange, by the way. It looks 
just really adds some flavor. You get this splash of orange here on the bezel as well. Um, I'm going to show it to you on my 7 inch wrist and give you guys some specs real quick before we uh, close out the video. You know what? I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this to you on that rubber strap since you guys already saw it here on okay the bracelet there so we'll put this on the rubber strap because I, I don't have that one size and by the way they do offer you two separate holes the inner one is going to be for the bracelet and the outer one is going to be for the strap to give you guys some room to um, maneuver the strap without it having rubbing up against the case and it's pretty easy to put in there all right and we'll put that one in just like that boom all right so let me show it to you on the seven inch wrist again look at that it's just a huge dust magnet guys not a fan of that they do give you the dufresne logo here on the buckle looks beautiful i do love the look of the watch um we're looking at a 39 millimeter case diameter uh, when it comes to the thickness of the watch, it is 12 millimeters in thickness, so it wears very, very well on the wrist. 20 millimeters lug width, so you'll be able to put a lot of different straps on here. And 47 millimeters lug to lug. X1 Super Luminova, um, all over, even on the pip. You've got it on the hands and also on the indices. So... I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys some final thoughts. So, yeah, this is a $5.99 price point. Uh, I understand, you know, that there was more engineering going on in the bracelet with the DLC coating, the 800 Vickers, making it more scratch resistant. Uh, also, that quick adjust system. Um, I would give it a, more of a pass if it was actually seamless. Um, it, there definitely needs to be more engineering that goes into that, in my opinion. Um, I wish that, that system worked better to justify this uh, additional price point. Um, besides that though, I mean, I know you're getting that sapphire bezel, but at the end of the day, you're getting an SW200 movement. And in the micro brand space, you are paying right around that $500 price point for good quality watches in that price point. So that's just my two cents, guys. You can keep the change and always remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other, and I'll see you guys next time on Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless, my friends.